Hi, welcome to a new video, and in this one we're going to take a look at uh, Race Room Racing Experience, uh, which I picked up recently and been spending a bit of time with, uh, and I must say I'm extremely impressed by it. And a new piece of uh, DLC for it, which is the Cooper Leon E Racer. Um, now, this is a car that's going to form part of a single make race series in the future, and this is the first title it appears in. Um, so, rear wheel drive, circa 600 bhp, all electric, purpose built race car. Um, no ABS, variable traction control. If you turn the traction control right down, it's quite nice and slippery. Um, so, whilst it may bear a passing resemblance to the uh, Cooper Leon um, touring car it is in fact a very different beast. As I say, being rear wheel drive rather than front wheel drive and obviously all electric. In terms of the pricing for the DLC, it's just under £4 for the car with one livery and around about £7.5 uh, if you want to buy it with all of the liveries, which quite frankly continues um, Race Room Racing Experience's ludicrous DLC pricing policy. Um, but what does it drive like? Well, in keeping with most pure electric vehicles, there's a few things you've got to get over. Um, some of which you may not be able to get over. I know some people can't. Uh, the first one is the sound. It sounds like an electric car, so it makes a whiny noise. It doesn't make a brum brum noise. Personally, it's something I can get past. I don't even mind watching Formula E that much, but I know for a lot of people it's a deal breaker. Um, but perhaps the most unusual one to get past is um, the fact that obviously you've got no gear ratio, so there is no gearing as such. Um, this, when you're used to driving a track and X corner is Y gear, etc., can take a little bit of adapting to. Um, but overall, the car drives extremely well. The electric motors means it's got a very low center of gravity, um, so it's extremely planted. Um, and you whack it up against a field of identical cars, much as the real series is going to be. And uh, you've got some good entertaining racing, uh, in my personal view. You know, for four quid, you effectively get a race series in and of its own right. Um, that's not to say that the DLC is a reasonable price. I don't personally think it is, but there we go. That is the uh, Cooper at Leon E Racer. Let me know your thoughts about... Um, this down below um, particularly with regard to dlc pricing and all pure electric racing series and if you like this video please do hit the like button and if you want to see more content like this subscribe away and hit the bell icon to be notified when new content gets uploaded thanks very much bye